Hello there, I just wanted to make a quick video about creating adaptive assessments using Google Forms. If you're not sure what adaptive assessments are, and an explanation here from Elena Pap Papanastosio, I'm sure I pronounced that wrongly, but she says adaptive assessment can be defined as any type of assessment that is tailored specifically to each examinee based on their performance on previous items on the assessment. Therefore, adaptive assessments allow for the administration of items that are targeted to the ability level or trait level of each examinee, which enables the estimation of more accurate examinee ability estimates. Bit of a tongue twister, but the idea being that um, when we have an exam, often we assessment, we have an assessment that just is the same for every student. Obviously, students are very different levels. Some are very comfortable with the content and some will struggle with it. So the idea of an adaptive assessment is that it tailors the assessment based upon your responses. And so I want to look at how we might do this in Google Forms. So I've created my forms already, and I'm going to show you two different ways of doing this, both multiple choice and with text. So the first way I've done, I've got some math questions that are sent. And so here are the math questions. I'm just using these five. And the idea with these is they get progressively harder uh, each question. So what I've done, I've transferred this into the form. So you can see that here. So I've got my question here. Um, and then I've made it's a multiple choice question. I've used the, used the insert image option to insert the actual formula that I've got here. And then I've created four options and used the Equatio tool to insert my maths fraction. So the Equatio tool is a toolbar you can get for free uh, until the end of the school year. Um, so what I then need to do, and I've done this already, I've created sections. So each of the question is in its own section. So using the add section bar here. So I've got section one, section two, etc., etc., down three, four, five. So you can see all that there. But then what I need to do, and this is where the adaptive part comes in, is on a multiple choice. And this only works for multiple choice and drop down questions. I'm going to click on my three dots and use the go to section based on answer. So when we're starting this, we actually really want to start in the middle. So we're going to start with section question three. So what I've done on the very first uh, intro here, section one, I've said after this section, I, you can choose which section to go to. So I'm saying go to section three. So the first question someone will see is question three. So if I click on here, you can see I've already done these. So if you get the right answer, which in this case is option two, you go to section five. If you get the wrong answer, you go to section three. So the idea being if you get it right, you go to a harder question. If you get it wrong, you go to an easier question. So just to show you how to do that um, on this one. So if I'm saying if you get it right, so in this case, the answer is one tenth, you're going to go up onto this section, question two. Now, what I've done as well, I've added a section towards the end. It doesn't really matter where you have them, but this is multiplying uh, fractions review. So this is a video I've added in from YouTube. And so the idea being that if you get right to the easiest question and you get it wrong, you clearly need to get some extra instructions. So I've added a video and the idea being that when you answer this, you then go back to the first question, the easiest question. So on this, my question one here's my question one i'm saying if you get the question right you're going to section three which is question two if you get it wrong you're going to the multiplying fractions review so i'll put that in here so i've set all this up i'm going to show you how it looks in the preview so we go here click next obviously you can change how this looks add a bit more information uh, make it a bit more interesting click next it's going to take me to question three so this is where we're starting um, so I'm going to answer my question. Actually, let's make sure I get it wrong. I think it's that one. So if I click wrong, then it takes me to question two. So if I get this one wrong, it will take me to question one. If I get this one wrong, it will take me to the video that I mentioned. So I can watch that and then click next. It's going to take me back to question one. So now I know what I'm doing. I click one tenth, so it's correct. 
question two, I have to remind myself, so it's three twentieths. Question three, is where I need to remind myself of the correct answers, three fourteenths. Question four, 11 25ths. And the very last one was 7 fifteenths. So I click that. So once I'm done, I then get through to the finish. Congratulations, submit, and we're done. And so that's been answered. So this can be work really well with questions that are clear in multiple choice and that, that have a clear progression in um, how easy or hard they get. But the other thing I was thinking about is how do we use this for text answers? So again, I've set up a format already, and this is based on Macbeth. So again, I'm using sections. So my first section, I've asked my question, what does Macbeth think the witches want to, why does Macbeth think the witches want to help him? And so the idea here is the student will go in and answer this. Once they've done that, it's just going to the next section, which is this one. And this is where I've given my answer. And so as a teacher explaining the full answer, then I'm asking the student a question. So this uh, is requiring the student to be self uh, critical, self analytical and determine do they think they've answered the question correctly? They answer yes or no. And then again, I've turned on the go to section based on answer. So if they have answered it correctly, yes, they then go on to the next section, which is Burnham Wood. If they've answered it wrong, they go on to section three, which is this one, the which is helping Macbeth more. So it gives them a chance to re-answer that question. So obviously you're hoping that they would be able to do that correctly. Let's check this out again in the preview and you'll see how it works. So answer here, click next. Have I answered it correctly? No, I haven't. Click next. And so I can answer more again. Again, click next. And so what I've done on that one, just to show you um, again on this, it's just continuing to the next section. But obviously I could go here and choose whichever section I want it to go to after that. So they click that and then they go on to the next one. Obviously, once a student submits, you'll be able to review that um, in the normal way in forms. And so if you think at that point they've answered, yes, they've correct, answered it correctly when they haven't, um, you can then go back to them and get them to review that. So hopefully this is an idea of how you can adapt assessments both for multiple choice and for text-based answers. I'd really appreciate your feedback um, if you think how you might use this or if you think there's ways we could adjust this process um, to make it more viable and usable with your students. Thanks very much.